back, yeah, and we'll, well see. We still also. will see how, <laughs> yeah. Or we'll Zala see playing. another uh, leader of this group on the second board playing with Govhar Baidulayeva from Azerbaijan. Uh, very similar structure like we have saw in the game by uh, Vicar Martina. Yeah. So, but difference is that Queen is developed to a5 already, rook is, rooks are centralized, all black pieces are ready, and uh, bishop is not on g6, but bishop is on e6. That actually might be the main difference in these two positions. So, who does it favor? <laughs> 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 or you don't want this question? <laughs> no, right now I would prefer my bishop on g6 with that, yeah, in this, this piece set up. Yeah, because uh, then, of course, the bishop uh, and the rook are both attacking e4 pawn, Queen on c2 is awkward in, for now, it's hard to, with bishop on g6, it would be hard to imagine white pushing e5, but in current situation, who knows, maybe f4 is still possible, like in the previous game. Yeah, I think it was tried trying. to be prepared, uh, that's why h3 was played, d 4 was played, so now f4, certainly something to think about. Uh, threat is direct, <laughs> it's e5. Also no, very in direct, yeah. Also in some lines there will be idea to play f5 because bishop only has one square on c4. So black should have some idea here. Maybe just to play bishop c4 for starters. I guess white can answer with rook f2. Yeah, and then I wanted to try this, but it might not work just... What about e5? I'm not sure. I was hoping that there was not enough... Uh, yeah, you're not threatening anything yet because bishop is hanging on e3. Okay. So I could just make a move like but I am knight d5. Right. <laughs> and there are so many pieces in the but center then, of the but board. But then bishop d2. And the problem is that also uh, now your knight on d5 is hanging because my bishop is looking at your queen. Okay, so bishop d2 is a problem, so I can just do some other move, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, I don't really... It <laughs> looks... <laughs> can't okay, control all those tactics there. Knight d3, knight b4 also can be... Yeah, but then simply rook d2 after knight b4, I can even play probably queen d1, and... Yeah, so now I can go knight d5. Okay, so you made my rook awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go bishop f2, I assume, and I can go something like bishop to c5. And, and who is better? Like, nobody what knows. But no knight here? e4. <laughs> <laughs> there are too many pieces in the center. <laughs> this is really funny to look at. Okay, there was probably also something better for both sides, but still, I like white. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is all based just on some tactical tricks here, and this has nothing to do with positional evolution. <laughs> yeah, but white is like more active, and together with the pawns, and so also some king attack is possible. I don't know. I like if a four. white. If white would still have rook on d1, for example, then yeah, already I would be certain it's good. But uh, with both black rooks centralized, and with uh, both and both white rooks still on the initial squares, kind of. Uh, F1 is not initial square. Well, it kind of is, because <laughs> cast Welcome to chess. castle is like a standard <laughs> move in every opening, so... No, yeah, okay, it's nothing clear, but I choose white here. But so we should quickly take a look still at three remaining groups, and then we'll...